Hello, welcome to Geo 101, where we explore our amazing planet. In this video, we are going to learn about the different types of water bodies, such as rivers, lakes, oceans, and more. Let's get started. Water is very important for life, and it covers about 70% of the Earth's surface. But not all water is the same. There are different kinds of water bodies that have different features, sizes, and sources. Some water bodies are fresh, which means that they have very little or no salt in them. Some water bodies are salty, which means they have a lot of salt and minerals in them. Some water bodies are still, which means they do not move much. Some water bodies are flowing, which means they move from one place to another. One type of water body is a river. A river is a long, flowing stream of water that runs in a channel. A channel is a path that the water follows. The bottom of the channel is called the bed, and the sides are called the banks. Rivers usually start from a high place, like a mountain or a hill, and flow downhill to a lower place, like a lake or an ocean. Rivers can be very long or very short, very wide or very narrow, very deep or very shallow. Rivers are usually fresh water, and they are home to many animals and plants, such as fish, frogs, ducks. Another type of water body is a lake. A lake is a large, still body of water that is surrounded by land. Lakes do not flow like rivers, but they can have waves when the wind blows. Lakes can be very big or very small very deep or very shallow. Lakes can be fresh water or salty water, depending on where they are and how they are formed. Some lakes are formed by rain, snow, or melting ice. Some lakes are formed by rivers or streams. Some lakes are formed by volcanoes or earthquakes. Lakes are also home to many animals and plants such as turtles, swans, algae, and lotus. Another type of water body is an ocean. An ocean is a huge, salty body of water that covers most of the Earth. There are five oceans on our planet. The Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, the Arctic Ocean, and the Southern Ocean. Oceans are very deep and very wide, and they have many different zones, such as the surface, the middle, and the bottom. Oceans are connected to each other, and they have currents that move the water around. Oceans are home to many animals and plants, such as whales, sharks, dolphins, coral, and seaweed. There are also other types of water bodies, such as ponds, streams, springs, wells, reservoirs, canals, bays, gulfs, seas, and more. Each type of water body has its own characteristics, sources, and inhabitants. Water bodies are very important for the environment the climate, and the living things on the earth. They provide us with water, food, energy, recreation, and beauty. We hope you enjoy this video about different water bodies. And if you want to learn more, you can check out the link below. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Study Time with Miss M.